Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start with today's episode and gonna analyze the Bitcoin price, two things before we start. First, don't forget to sign up to our $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway, the video is popping up at the end of this video, don't forget to put there your comment and your Bitcoin address, we're gonna select the winner later on today or tomorrow. And second, from today on, Coinbase is gonna add some more fees into the withdrawal. So if you think that Coinbase has too high fees, I know Coinbase is the number one exchange, especially for beginners, but if you think that they have too high fees and you're looking for a good, cheaper alternative, then give it a try to Swissborg. You find also the link down below here in the video description. With my link, you can get up to 100 euro completely for free that you can immediately start to put into Bitcoin or other cryptos that you want. And here on Swissborg, you always get the cheapest price and also the lowest fees. And if you stake some of their coins, some of their tokens, then also you will get it completely fee-less. So if you want to give it a try, then use the link that you find down below here in the video description so you will also get some rewards. And now let's start here with the one hour time frame on the Bitcoin price because currently we are still very bullish here on the Bitcoin price. We still didn't really touched our main resistance here of around $11,200, but we're coming very, very close to it. And I think there is a very high chance that today, Friday, we're gonna see this potential $11,200 test before maybe entering the weekend. And you know, weekend is always play time when the traditional markets are closing and also the CMEs is closed. So it's also gonna be very interesting to see where the CME market is gonna close today and in the one hour you can see that currently we are still building up higher lows which is very bullish and it also looks like that we could be in here in a potential ascending triangle which is a bullish pattern and even though we had here a fake out i think most likely we're gonna see another attempt here also currently you can see that we are breaking out from this eleven thousand dollar resistance and if we're gonna have a successful breakout, then this would be the target up here exactly at 11,200. So let's see if we can reach it up today or not. And of course, RSI is now above the 50 level. We still have some room left to the upside. If we go over into the Bollinger Band, you can see that currently, since we are pushing higher here, we are right at the top. So there is a high chance also here that we are getting rejected, but it looks like that we want to see some more continuation to the upside here. We still have Stochastic shifted to the upside and also the MACD and KST are looking quite bullish. So if we should have here breakout to the upside towards 11,200, it should happen right now in the next couple of hours and uh, we can also have a quick look into the dxy because here after pushing it towards the resistance we immediately came back down and currently we are again fighting here with this 93 dollars level so the dxy so far didn't have a major push to the upside or to the downside from this 93 dollars level and it's basically still trading sideways here so also on the dxy we are still waiting here for a big move nothing much happened so far and uh, now we can go back to the bitcoin chart and open up the four hour time frame because here we're still waiting for a 200 moving average test here at 11,120. So far we came very, very close, but didn't touch this moving average. I think if we are able to break through here, so breaking this 11,100 to 11,200 dollar and also start to close the four hour candles above these two price levels, I think we should be good to go towards 12K and higher. But as long as we're not reaching this 11,200 and also not our closing four hour candles above the 200 moving average, I'm still more bearish and that's why I'm still keeping up with my short position and also still planning to add a bit more into my shorts as long as we are not breaking here this resistance that is above of us. And RSI is also looking a bit toppy here. We are in very close overbought condition here. So if we're getting rejected here from the 200 moving average, then watch out for the 20 here at 10,850. And of course on the 50 moving average here at $10,600. I think these are the two important supports if we're gonna see a bigger rejection. And if these two are getting lost, then be prepared to see again 10,000 and probably also go lower. 
and we can also have a quick look into the Bollinger Band in the 4 hour because here we are right at the top so we are testing currently this $11,000 top here in the Bollinger Band and also here we're gonna have to see if we are able to push through or not but currently also here it looks a bit toppy we have the KST shifted to the downside MACD as well only the stochastic currently is in neutral condition so here we still have some room left to the upside but it's where we're gonna close these four hour candles here today I think it's gonna tell us if we should head higher towards 11,200 and maybe even 12k or if we're getting rejected here and this was just a breather to the upside before continuation to the downside towards our bearish targets where the 200 daily moving average is lining up towards around 9,100 to 9,200 and also to close the CME gap down at $9,600. If we have a look into the DXY as I told you here still nothing new we're still moving sideways here but below all the moving averages here in the four hours so we are in a very dangerous place here currently if you're getting rejected here if we're dropping lower here in the DXY potentially towards the $90 or even lower then this could lead into a big push to the upside on the Bitcoin price so that's why we have to keep a very close eye also what the DXY is doing especially today since it's Friday and usually on Fridays we see always big moves but currently the DXY is still flat here and now let's open up the daily time frame because here on the Bitcoin price you can see that currently we are still trading above the 20 daily moving average which is here at $10,800 so the $10,800 is a very key level for this move that we are having right now and also the 50 daily is right here at our possible resistance point here of $11,200. RSI is here trading now above the 50 level so in theory we would have now a lot of room left to the upside but I still see this as a problem here this $11,200 only if this region is getting broken then I think we are good to go towards 12k and higher and if we have a look into the DXY here although you can see we're still flat all along the 20 daily moving average so here is still nothing new we have some closes above and some closes below the 20 daily so also here we are waiting for a big move to the downside or to the upside of course DXY long term bearish but we still could see a possible retest of the 50 or maybe even the 200 daily moving average up here and this would lead into a major crash in the stock market and also in the Bitcoin price and the DXY would still remain bearish so this is where I'm expecting big rejection in the DXY if we're gonna have a big push here to the upside and uh, here just a reminder in the CME chart here we are still trading right at the 50 and 20 daily moving average this is starting to look quite bullish and we should have a big bounce to the upside but if here we're getting rejected here at this $11,000 area then I'm pretty sure that we're coming all the way down here to close the CME gap that we have at $9,600 possibly also retest this old important resistance which now should be new support here at $9,400 here on the CME chart and this is also where the 200 daily moving average here is coming along so I think as soon as the 200 daily is very close to this point here we most likely coming down to close the gap and also test the 200 daily before we're bouncing again for a big move to the upside so this is at least what I suppose is going to happen I could also be completely wrong but this is at least my expectation for this next couple of days and weeks here at least on based here on the CME chart and we can also have a final look here into the weekly time frame on the Bitcoin price because here we are still very bullish. We're bouncing from the 20 weekly moving average. It's currently here at 10,140. If we're going to lose this area, then watch out for the 50 weekly moving average here at $8,900. I don't think that we have to go necessarily that low. But if we're losing the 20 weekly, it is very likely that we're coming down to test this old resistance, which is now new support here at around $9,200, where most likely also the 200 daily moving average will be here and also where I'm expecting a big bounce if you're coming down to those levels but of course right now it is looking very bullish we are bouncing from a very important 
level here and in theory we should now heading towards to the upside the only question is really if we are able to take out this resistance here at eleven thousand two hundred dollar if so then we can be very bullish and most likely also retest this 12k area maybe even go higher but if we're getting rejected here in a very critical point then watch out for a major correction my friends you should be ready for all scenarios so if you're all in make sure that you also sometimes take out some profits so at least you are able to buy in cheaper if we are having a major crash or correction to the downside you should be very flexible with your trades and also with your portfolio and just a reminder this is my final target here for a possible move to the downside here the 200 daily moving average at 9200 if we're dropping lower and also we need to close the cme gap down here 9600 this is where i'm gonna have all my buy entries between 9600 down to 9200 dollar also this is where i'm going to start to scale in big long position and even if it would drop lower than that I still think that that would be really the last opportunity that you can buy really cheap Bitcoin. But I really don't think that we will go lower than the 200 daily moving average since we are already starting here the next parabolic phase for the Bitcoin price. And with that said guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. If you like the content, please moon up the like, subscribe here to the channel. We do daily TA videos. Also, you can feel free to join our Discord trading chat and also my channel over on Twitch. If you need any kind of trading exchanges, here you find the ones that I recommend you. And also you can get up to $538 in bonus if you fulfill all the requirements here. And if you're still using Coinbase Earn, I still have some free slots here to get completely free cryptos like Stellar or Cheat or EOS. You can just use the invitation links that you find down below here for Coinbase Earn and you can get them immediately completely for free. So thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.